So I've got here this heavily modified uh, popular Chinese uh, spring compressor off of Flea Bay. This thing was like a hundred bucks or something like that originally and it just wasn't made very strong. It could do like, uh, you know, small uh, mid-sized cars, compact cars, uh, coilovers, no problem. The uh, factory jack that came with it was garbage. This jack is actually new. Um, it was like 40 bucks on Amazon. It's made for a, for a cherry picker, an engine lift type type deal. The Chinese, the original main column here that it came with was like, I swear it was like maybe like 14, 16 gauge steel. This is 3 16 or 7 gauge. More than heavy enough to do this. Now the reason that I decided to modify this was I'm working on this uh, Mercedes ML here and the thing weighs like over 5,000 pounds. It's got good quality uh, pickup truck suspension on it. And this thing just could not handle compressing the, uh, the the size of the springs on this thing. I mean, these springs are seriously heavy duty, as you can tell. This spring compressor right now is actually sitting under load. Uh, I just swapped out this uh, Bilstein shock here, new Bilstein shock. Essentially what I did here was this thing came just with these arms like this. This mechanism here was not here. And these uh, these chain holders down here were not there at all. Um, so what I did was I essentially made a tightening mechanism for these because originally when this came, I had to use like a strap, like a nylon strap all the way around here with a, with a ratcheting uh, tie down on the end of it um, because these things would just splay out. They would just pop off of the spring. It was the stupidest design I've ever seen. So I decided to do this. this uh, these, each one of these can rotate this way as well as this way. And uh, this one's threaded. This one has a hole through it. You just run the threaded rod through it and it uh, tightens these down. Um, I added these as well, which provides support to this uh, arm assembly and keeps it from buckling up like this. So each one of these chains comes down and it's hooked onto a clevis onto the base down here. This whole system works really, really, really well. I mean, this thing had no trouble whatsoever compressing the, uh, the spring for this ML here and I could go way, way further with it. Um, no creaking, no cracking, uh, no unusual noises or anything. And uh, I'll just go around the whole thing and show you the modifications. This here originally came straight out and then the original jack would just, it would bolt onto like here. Well, I wanted to use a taller jack for a further travel. So this jack here is about 12 inches taller, almost a foot taller than the original. And so I went up here and fastened it up here, which allows this to slide over top of the jack. This here was, uh, there was only one gusset on it and it was like 16 gauge steel. The second I tried to uh, compress this spring with the, with the unmodified version of the spring compressor, it buckled this sideways. So what I did was I cut it off here and then I cut the original tube, this part here. Um, I cut it off and welded it onto this thicker steel here. Um, I also welded another gusset onto the bottom as well. I put all new hardware all the way around on this thing, new nuts. I put some extra washers uh, for some extra torsional protection. I put extra gussets on the main, uh, the main column there. Another big issue was that the original jack this came with had a flat base plate and it was bolted to the base. Now the problem was, it doesn't matter how thick a metal you have, this main column, when you're putting pressure up on it, it will bend slightly. That's, that's normal, but if you're going to account for that, you need to have the jack be able to move as well. What was happening when I was jacking this thing up uh, with the old compressor or with the unmodified version, the shaft would bend with it and the, the entire shaft would bend out of the end of the jack. And so what I did here was I took uh, this jack, we've got a clevis end on this end that can move back and forth, and then a, uh, a clevis pin up here that can move back and forth as well. So no matter how far this thing goes up and down, that, uh, that rod has free travel to move instead of bend. This is a pretty sweet modification. I'll tell you what, guys, it works really, really, really well. It's nothing for these ML shocks. So, uh, you know, whether you've got uh, like a heavy duty truck with coilovers or whatever, this thing could definitely handle it. I just wanted to show you guys this modification um, because uh, these, the Chinese sell a lot of these style spring compressors. The seller I bought this thing from on eBay had sold over 2,000 of these things. So I figured I'd modify it into a little bit of a heavier duty design here that could, uh, that could compress springs a little bit more safely. 
that's it guys. I just wanted to show you this thing. Maybe give anybody else that has one of these things some ideas. As usual, like and subscribe and shoot me some comments if you have any questions.